After kicking ass at Lamar, Peugeot says bye-bye. Two buddies in Australia get in a prank war that gets axed, literally. Plus a bug gets injected with diesel, and another ridiculous reason the Prius is just getting way out of hand. What's up everybody? It's me, Derek D, and this is Friday. It's Fastlane Daily. We're here to reclaim Friday's back from Rebecca Black. Is she still even popular? All right, we'll start a little bit of sad news for you race fans. Peugeot has been killing it in Le Mans for several years with recent victories in the Six Race International Le Mans Cup and the 24 Hours of Le Mans. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. As the French automaker is now killing their chances of winning any endurance racing series in 2012 by pulling out. This is me not inserting a that's what she said joke, all right? Now, where do we point the blame for this? The economy, quote, a difficult economic environment in Europe, says the Peugeot website. That's a serious bummer because the Le Mans races have been pretty friggin' exciting with the recent Audi and Peugeot rivalry. But hey, best of luck, Peugeot. And I hope you guys make a quick return. Oh, P.S. The UK just locked in its own dedicated F1 channel called Sky Sports. Congrats, you old English chaps. Right? I don't know, is that, was that, I maybe embellished it a little too much. Maybe the UK folks, you guys watch them, be, oh, Derek, that's not how you do it, never do it again. Mm. Hey, we all like a good prank, right? Hey, Kay, what about you? Love a good prank. And? Love them. I'm pranking you guys right now, you don't even know it. I didn't tell your fly is open. Oh, there it is. Anyway, especially when we're the ones doing the pranking, that's what's fun. Now, we have a pretty elaborate prank done Aussie style. So apparently, this one bloke jammed an axe, yes, like a huge Paul Bunyan axe, into his buddy or mate's car, as you guys say. And naturally, the dude who owned the car didn't think it was that funny, he's pretty pissed. So he spent about a month working up a major plan. He spent a ton of money and seriously pranked his friend back. I'm not talking about just like a one-upper prank here. This is like a one-upper to the 174th power. Why don't we just have a look-see? You see that? Yeah, that's a massive, ton-heavy axe crushing his buddy's car. And not from just one angle, no, no, no. This dude did it from eight different angles. Yeah, the guy who arranged the prank is actually pretty funny, seems kind of nutty and deranged. Check out his butt bomb on the hood of the end of the car, at, at the end, on the hood of the car. Yeah, have a look at that again, it's kind of funny. Boom, all right. Now, this is funny and all, but I'm gonna have to talk to you guys for a second, because these guys must have had a decent amount of coin to keep destroying each other's cars and paying for elaborate pranks like this, which leads me to believe that this was possibly set up. And maybe this is the pilot for the Australian version of Punked. It'll be called Axed, right? Where they just go around and keep axing everything. I don't know, it's just a guess. That's an educated guess. It's my hypothesis, AK. Yeah. Man, people really seem to love Diesel lately. No, I'm not talking about that hideous clothing that Guidos wear. That's terrible. I'm talking about gas. And VW's new Beetle is the latest car to receive the turbo diesel treatment, as Autoblog.com has confirmed. The TDI engine will fit ever so snugly into the new bug, an upcoming convertible bug later this year. Now, in the current Jetta, the TDI is good for 140 horsepower and 236 pound-feet of torque. Fuel economy could hit as high as 50 miles per gallon as well. So if the Beetle gets the same one, I'd say that's the most efficient bug ever. Well, after that one ant and a bug's life, of course. Yeah. Remember when they saved his whole colony? That was nice. It's a great story. And yes, I just made an animated late 90s movie reference. No, it's just me. Would you have preferred ants? That was a good one, too. Heavyweights? Not animated, just a great movie. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Rick Moranis. Boom, old school. All right, I'm getting sidetracked. The point is, clean diesel for the win, right, AK? Miles per gallon. I'm gonna go get me. With the gas prices are shooting up like crazy. They say it's gonna be five bucks in the Midwest at some point in the summer. Yikes. As much as I don't like the Prius, I have to respect its resiliency because there seems to be a new version of that damn car constantly. Yeah, I know it gets great gas mileage, but I personally just don't like it. I never did. It's like the Saw movies. You thought you liked it at first, but then you realize it's just the same thing over and over again, and then you think to yourself, man, I should have bought a sports car I always wanted, but now I'm dead because I couldn't saw my arm off before the axe hit my face. Wow, we're in an axe-themed episode today. I don't know. Obviously, my point is, let's go camping. 
Here's the extremely even uglier Toyota Prius camper van. Yes, it's 20 inches longer than a regular Prius due to the added camper shell. And apparently it sleeps for adults. To me, it just looks like the Prius got a new hairdo. I mean, kind of looks like Elvis. Kind of has like a pompadour, you know, or maybe Donald Trump cut. Uh, I'm not sure, it's kind of, it looks like a haircut on top of the Prius. Anyway, those Prius folks. It's not actually Toyota who makes it, it's a, it's a aftermarket company. Just letting you know. Well, anyway, that'll do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. You guys have a great weekend. Be safe, and as always, go Giants, right, AK? Go Giants! Ah, I like that. I'm going to pet him. Hey, that's a, that's a good hand pet it. What'd you say, JF Niners? What's up, San Francisco? I see you. I see you losing. That's what I see. You tell him, Derek D. You tell him. Bye now. <laughs> I love having a monitor. It's fun. Right? We're going to get axed. <laughs> <laughs>